Hello everyone. So I've been starting to read this book that I said the other day, The Cry of the Deer, which is based on uh, the prayer of St Patrick. And uh, one of the things that I've learned from this book is that in Celtic Christianity, uh, the Christians used to um, imagine God, God's presence around them a bit like a circle and circles were really important to Celtic Christians as you've perhaps seen on the Celtic crosses that they're always they have a circle on them and uh, I talked the other day about God's presence always being with us and uh, uh, I'll just read a verse from Romans 8 where it says about God's presence always being with us and nothing can separate us from him and Paul writes I'm convinced that neither death nor life neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. And there's a lovely prayer activity in this book which uh, I'm going to read to you and just encourage you to do in your situation wherever, wherever you are to just imagine that God is always with you and to just ask God's presence to be around you in whatever you're doing or wherever you are at this time. And I'm going to read this prayer to you and then uh, suggest how you might make this a prayer that's personal to you. And this prayer says this, it's, it's talking to God and it says, Your presence is in all my life. Your presence is all around me. Your presence is peace. Your presence is in my house. Your presence is all around me. Your presence is peace. Your presence is in my work. Your presence is all around me. Your presence is peace. And then it suggests that instead of saying your presence is in my home or your work, to imagine the situations in your own life where you want the presence of Jesus to come into your life. So you might say your presence is in my hospital appointment or your presence is in my family situation or your presence is in my street or in my neighbourhood or in my community or in my nation or in the world at large. Uh, and to sort of imagine it like a ripple on a stone as you imagine God's presence around you and then reaching out to your community, your family and to the world at large. And to just invite the presence and the peace of Jesus to be in your life and in the, in the world around you. So I'll just say it again and then I'll pray. Your presence is in my life. Your presence is all around me. Your presence is peace. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you that when we know your presence as a reality in our lives, that we have your peace in our hearts. We thank you for your promise that nothing can separate us from your love. And we pray that whatever uh, situations we're facing day by day, whatever we're doing day by day in our work, in our home life, in our leisure activities, whatever it might be, as we're locked down at this time, that Lord, we would know your presence with us and that you would help us to invite you to be part of everything that we're doing day by day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.